Right, well, I was born on um, May, which was the fifth month, and on the 13th day of May. And it's math mathematically, that's vaguely interesting because these are both Pythagorean primes. Right, okay, well, if we look at five, then we can write five as the sum of two squares. So one squared plus two squared is equal to five. Now, if we take 13, see if we can work that one out. Well, 13 is nine plus four. So um, four is just two squared and three squared is nine. So that gives me. Now the next one, 17, we can do that as well, because 17 is four squared plus one squared, which is another Pythagorean prime. Pythagorean. We've all heard of Pythagoras, who's a very famous mathematician. So why, why do these numbers bear his name? Well, if we remember our right angle triangle, so we've got a right angle there, and there's the hypotenuse. And Pythagoras tells us that if uh, this thing is of uh, length a, and this bit here is of length b, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's Pythagoras' theorem. Okay. Now, of course, a and b don't have to be. They don't have to be integers. Uh, and C doesn't have to be an integer. They can be any number. This can be 3.2 inches. This can be 5.75 inches, um, whatever C is then. But well, we can play this game with integers. And when we do, uh, we generate these Pythagorean primes. If we look at, if we look at 13, uh, then it turns out that all of these numbers uh, can be written as 4n plus 1. So 13 uh, is equal to 4n plus 1, where n is equal to 3. If we take 17, then uh, 17 is 4n plus 1, uh, where n is equal to 4. So uh, the Pythagorean primes have this, they, we generate them this way, but they've also got this interesting property. Can I put any n in there to get a Pythagorean prime, or only certain n's will do it? No, no. For example, if we just take the next one in this series, if we put n equals 5, then n equals 5, uh, gives me, of course, 21. Okay, so that's just 20 plus 1. And although 21 is an odd number, it's not a prime number because it's equal to 7 times 3. So 21 is not a prime. And it's obviously, def, it's not, a, not even a prime, so it's obviously not a Pythagorean prime. So it's not all values of n that give me these just special values. We mentioned at the start that your birthday is the 13th of the 5th and they're both Pythagorean primes. Yes. Can you remember at what point in your life you realised your birthday was two Pythagorean primes? Uh, when you asked me to talk about numbers, and I, <laughs> I, I, I have a really favourite Pythagorean prime, which I'd like to tell you about, and then I just realised that uh, 13 and 5 are two nice small ones. Okay, tell me about your favourite one. Well, my favourite one, of course, is 137. For anyone uh, that doesn't know, by the way, Professor Eves is obsessed with the number 137, and you'll see him talking about it in multiple videos. Not really that obsessed, but anyway, of course, the, the, the inverse fine structure constant, uh, which we use a lot in atomic physics and uh, any properties to do with the elect electrons and their quantum behavior. The fine structure constant alpha, its inverse is, is almost 137, not exactly 137, and lo and behold, uh, 137 is a nice Pythagorean prime, which is, which I think is, is quite quite nice. And uh, if we work that one out, of course, we see how can we make it up. Well, with a little bit of thinking, we can see that lm squared gives me um, 121, and then if I take uh, 4 squared, which is 16, that adds up to 137. So can we draw uh, the Pythagorean triangle for that? It will look something like this. I've changed the scale of my units here a little bit. Uh, so we've got uh, 11 there, 4 there, and then this diagonal is the square root of 137. A nice Pythagorean prime. So just to be absolutely clear, the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle when the other two sides are integers 
won't be a Pythagorean prime. It's square root is a Pythagorean it prime. Is square root. Yeah. Right. How many how many arrows do you want? So the next one, one, let's say we did three to the power of, to the power of, to the power of, oh, arrow, 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 divide by two, call this. and that will give you the third three. perfect number well, that, for that 